slightest suspicious fluctuation in signal, we have to shut you down. The world order in their team. team of expert hackers could be trying to trap it. And that's why we have to create a covert host site for every new stream and then shut it down immediately once the call's over. I'm sitting here, just me and my techie Steve and a sweaty, clammy, claustrophobic fan. Access granted. There's more of this to come, followers, so stay logged in. And if you're just joining us, I just got off the phone with a mother from Florida who confirmed what most of us already know, but I want to share it with you anyway. We're doing emails, followers. FEMA is doing Access granted. Access granted.
That's far enough. Uh. Back. Away. Uh. Come out. Uh. Shut that. Access granted. Access granted.
Granted. Man, Eliza is so hot. Thank you. 
Welcome to Lim International. Would you say the police were overly Dr. violent? Tetri, Will you be purchasing anything today? Dr. Chetri, call 217. Always a pleasure, sir. What'll it be? Be sure to tell all your friends. They're just not the cops. <laughs> Have you found anything? Please, I've got to know what really happened to Megan. I've investigated all of Detective Chase's leads. You were right. Something was off with Megan's case. So, what did you find? I got my hand on a test report that confirms what was bothering Chase. The attackers used excessive measures to make bodies and equipment unidentifiable. Oh my god, Megan. What do you make of this, Adam? I don't know exactly. I guess the idea was to leave no traces, no DNA evidence that would link back to them. But it just seems a bit too convenient. There were only three people who got out of the labs alive. Me and two others. One died in the hospital a few days later, the second one, a lab tech, was ready to give a detailed description of what he saw. Funny thing is, by the time the investigators got to him, he couldn't remember a thing. You sound like you don't believe that. I don't. Not from the reports I've read. I think someone got to him first. Someone in the government, a man named Manderley, ordered that a specially appointed medical examiner perform the autopsy. He bypassed the local M.E. Simply put, that's not a good sign. It sure doesn't sound good. Chase told me an officer assigned to the case may have been less than professional. But it was a dead end. I couldn't get through to the guy. Well, I'm sure you did what you could, Adam. So what you're telling me is we couldn't find anything conclusive? No, I'm sorry. But one thing's for sure. Somebody's been hard at work covering up and destroying evidence related to this case. Somebody with power, who wanted to erase anything that might have made the investigation linger. I'm sorry, Cassandra. I wish I had more tangible answers to give you. But I did stumble on something I think you should have. I found Megan's bracelet. I'm sure she'd want you to have it. Oh, Adam. That's very kind of you. Her grandmother gave it to her. She loved that bracelet very much. Thank you for all you did. And um, do you, do you know exactly how Megan died? I read the reports. 
She didn't suffer, Cassandra. I can promise you that. Thank you, Adam. It's not much, but it still brings me some comfort. I miss her so much. Don't worry, Cassandra. This is not over. I don't know how or when, but I will get to the bottom of this. I knew I was right to trust you, Adam. But please, be careful. It's strange. I thought knowing what really happened would make me feel better. But nothing will ever justify this. My daughter is gone, and I'll never get her back. I wish. I wish I could be sure she gets justice. Trust me, she will. Where are you, Jensen? I haven't gone all night. Hello, Pritchard. I'm almost in my apartment now. Well, when you do get in there, connect the neural hub to your computer. I've created a secure tunnel, and I'll take over remotely. You can access my personal computer. Who do you think configured your security protocols? Welcome home, Mr. Jensen. Richard, the hub's connected. I know. Now be quiet and let me concentrate. I need his name, Pritchard, not his entire genetic history. That's not his DNA. It's the data he was trying to steal from us before he... My God, Jensen. Your suicide hacker didn't kill himself. You obviously didn't see his brain spidered all over the floor. No, no, you don't understand. The wet drive modification in this chip, it allows someone to hack through you. It turns you, quite literally, into a human proxy. So he wasn't working alone. Someone off-site was doing the actual hacking. Exactly. And whoever it was tried to hide his location by using multiple satellites. But I may have just traced him to here. An abandoned factory complex in Highland Park. Get me the address, Pritchard. Because if we're lucky, whoever pulled our terrorist strings might still be there.